Hey there, it's Warren Wheeler here. And in today's video, I wanna show you how you can map out your entire website structure using a cool mind mapping app called Funnelytics. Now, a lot of people use this to map out their funnels and things like that. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can map out your affiliate site and create a really good structure so it is easy for Google crawlers to crawl your site and learn and understand what your site's all about. And also for your visitors to understand what your site's about and navigate through the site as well. It's also good for you so you can have a good visual of what you're going to build. And I just think it's a really cool tool. Uh, I'm not affiliated with it at all, but um, we'll jump on the computer and we'll take a look and I'll show you a couple of examples and we'll go from there. I might also do another vi video after this showing you how you can implement this on a WordPress website. So stay tuned for that. And if you do like it, please smash the like button and also subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I do release that new ARM video and you'll get it straight away. Let's jump on the computer and get started. Okay, so the tool that we're gonna be using is called Funnelytics. Now, I'm not affiliated with them and this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I just think it's a really cool app and it's helped me, you know, um, map out my websites and give me a good visual of what I want to create. So you can simply sign up for a free account. They do have different pricing options, but for this, all you will need is the starter plan. Um, I only use the starter plan. It's free, gives you plenty of features to use, and we don't need all this other stuff. But by all means, if you want to, go and check that out. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with them at all, so I don't get a kickback or anything like that if you do. Um, it's 100% up to you. So once you've signed up and created an account, you'll come to a page like this. <clears throat> you can go through and check out all these different things and watch videos and whatnot of how to use it. But I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial and some examples of how you can use it. So I'm going to click on the funnels here. I have my own ones in this folder there, but for this, I'm just going to click the unorganized funnels and before making this video, I went ahead and made some um, different silo structured funnel uh, uh, websites, but I'm going to create a brand new one and just show you. Um, give it a name. Put it in this organized funnels, and I'm just going to show you how to actually use it. So <clears throat> once you've created an account, you've done all that and you've created your first funnel, you can simply go to these icons here. Now these icons, you can choose from different pages, uh, sales pages, order pages, opt-in forms, and things like that. So if you wanted to, you could do like a standard uh, opt-in type funnel and map that out. So you could have like a your page, you could have your opt-in, and then say, for example, this is the affiliate sales page. Um, I would then also have a thank you page. So that would be pretty standard, simple affiliate funnel that you can use. And then we can grab these handles here and point, point one to each other to give you a bit more of a mind map of what's going on. So for example, you might have your um, blog page or a landing page of some sort have an opt-in form that pops up or goes to a new landing page if it's a blog post at the start. And then a thank you page with a big affiliate link that goes to the sales page. Or, you know, we could also add a for example, let's put this email here. Actually we'll put it there. And then we can, so you can have your first email that goes to the sales page as well, giving you more of a chance to make that sale. So that's just giving you a rough example of how you can use it. It's very easy to drop and drag and um, and things like that. And you can you know duplicate. You can change the the text by simply clicking the uh, the three dots up here. Um, maybe. Call that landing page. And yeah, it's very easy to use. 
So what I'm going to do is build out a silo structured website. And the reason why we want to create a silo structured website, especially for niche sites, is to help Google crawl your site easier and also to help your visitors find the pages that they need and also for yourself as well to keep things organized. What I normally use for these type of things is pages. So normally, like if you're building out a big site, you might have pages and posts and things like that. But normally I just have pages for this and then I'll create like my parent topic and then put my you know uh, child page underneath that and keep everything super organized. So I'm gonna go back and show you the examples that I've already created. And for this one, I'll just show you this one here that I created earlier. Now, it might look very, you know, complex and a bit scary to look at, but it just shows you what you can actually do and what you can create with Funnelytics and, you know, how you can map things out and have a good visual of how to plan your website. So this is like an example for a golf site. So we've got our homepage here at the top. And sorry if it's not very big for you, but make it a little bit bigger. I might have to um, scroll around and so you can see everything. But at the top here, we've got our home page. So that's you know pretty standard. Our home page is you know like the root domain. And underneath that, we've got our parent topics, which is going to be driving tips, so golf driving tips. So this is for a golf site, putting tips short game tips, and golf fundamentals. So under each one of these parent topics, we're gonna have like a, a silo that's going down into different um, subtopics of that main parent topic. It's, by doing this, it, it builds relevancy and it, it keeps your site super relevant towards the keywords that you're going to promote. And it also sends juice so back to your main pages and things like that when you get links. So say, for example, you've planned your site out perfectly and you've got a good structure and it's a silo structure. Um, ideally, all these links go back to your home page and they funnel down into all these uh, inner pages. That's just going to pass juice around throughout your whole site. So say, for example, we get, uh, let's have a look. Say, for example, we get heaps of Google traffic to this page here. And all of a sudden, we start getting some backlinks. So all these backlinks are going here. Well, those, the power of those backlinks is going to funnel down to these other pages and help those pages rank as well. And the other good thing is Google's going to crawl this page and it's going to find these pages here because you've linked to them throughout this whole silo. So it just makes things easier for Google to crawl, makes it easier for your, uh, your visitors to find the pages you want them to find. And it's also good for you to keep a good mental, you know, like a mind map of what's going on. So I'm just going to delete that. Okay, so going back again, we've got our main topics here. And these can also link to each other as well. But Underneath the, the, the main topics, we've got our subtopics here. So the driver tips page might link to a beginner's guide to a longer, straighter drive. So this might be a big um, 4,000 word article, for example. And within this article, it's going to link to other articles that's also under this main topic. So it might be best golf drivers for distance, because we're talking about how to um, drive longer and straighter. Um, and then we can have golf driver basics, so we can help people with their golf swing, how to hit it further, how to stop slicing, and then uh, I think that might be oh, sorry. That one there is meant to be here, I think. And then that's supposed to go to there. So yeah, so we can have, you know, how to stop slicing. And then that slice, that stop slicing page might mention a review of the Titleist driver, which is a brand of driver. 
Uh, we can also have um, best drivers. So we could have a, a listicle type page. And then from that listicle, it can funnel down to all these little reviews. Uh, we can also do comparisons and yeah, all these other different brand names of drivers and things like that. But doing, but like creating your site structure like this, it's going to build a lot of relevance towards that parent topic. So your, your main category. And by doing so, it's going to help Google understand what each page is about because they're going to know it's about drivers and all these other articles are going to support it. And, you know, the way that we're interlinking and linking back, and of course, link back to the home page as well. It's going to make things super relevant and it's Google's going to favor your site against other sites that don't have as much relevance. So by doing this, you're giving yourself an extra chance to rank higher in Google. And again, we've got more subtopics over here or parent topics. And then they funnel down to like for putting tips, we could have how to putt more accurate, uh, best putter brands, best putting return system, and best putting drills. So again, that's all about putting. So that's one silo there as well. So we've got one silo, another silo, another silo, another silo. So it's keeping everything super relevant, super structured, and again, giving you every chance possible to rank higher in Google. Uh, over here, we've got short game. So how to rank, uh, how to get out of a bunker, best sand wedges. So that's related to that as well. And then we've got a product review under the best sand wedges. So again, these could link back to the home page, could link back to a category page or parent page. And we've got another subcategory here, which is probably going to be cover all different types of things like your golf rules, uh, swing drills and all that sort of more standard, like basic stuff, kind of like articles, just random articles about golf fundamentals. So there you have it. It's a really cool tool to use. I highly recommend diving in and having a go at it. You can map out your entire website structure. Now, if you'd like us to do that for you, I do have a service over at Authority Rocket where we build out affiliate sites for you. We also have content packages and writing services there as well. So do check those out. That's authorityrocket.com. I'll leave links in the description for that too. Thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video.